In this video, I'd like to show you some exciting uh, technology we're looking at here at I2. Um, we've been working on a, uh, a prototype for collaboration and sharing. And uh, during the demo, I'm going to show you, uh, we'll be using a smart board. This is a smart board here. When I uh, touch the smart board, it's just like using a mouse. So you don't need a smart board to run the software. Um, I'm just using it because it's a great tool for collaboration and for, for demonstrating the software today. Um, so what we're going to do is turn the lights out so you can see the application running really well. Okay, so we'll start off with uh, just clicking a few things. So I'm just going to click some items here on the chart. This chart is all about uh, some firearms. As you can see, we're trying to make it really easy for you to get the information when you want to. Um, I'm going to show you a video now. I'm just going to click this button here. So this is going to be playing a video live in the application. So you don't need another application to, to launch the video. The video plays inside it. Um, we have a feature here called uh, Charts Within Charts. Um, so this icon here is actually another chart. So I'm going to press it and drill down on that information inside that chart. So I've opened it. I can zoom and pan around the chart as I normally would. And if I want to see that in more detail, I just press this button here. That opens the chart in a, in a new window. And uh, I can then delve into information on this chart too. So I'm going to press this guy here. So this information on this person is coming live from an intelligence database uh, at the back end. OK, so as I said at the start, it's a collaboration system. So many people can be editing this chart. And they can even do that simultaneously. Uh, so I'll show you some of the history information we keep. So over on this right-hand side, uh, you can see a list of everyone who's ever um, changed this chart and when, that, when they changed that chart and what that change was. So that's great for tracking and auditing uh, uh, the way the chart has been made. Those are just the people who've been editing this particular chart. There are, there are other people in the system too. Let's have a look at them. I'm going to click the People tab. So here we have a list of all the people in the application. So each of these people, each of these people is allowed to uh, make, make charts and edit charts. And to see what they're up to, we can just go to the Home tab, and we have a, a list here of all the charts that have been made recently. So you can really keep an eye on uh, what else is going on in the team. Right, um, so that's a broad look at the application. I'm just going to show you something now which might surprise you. The application uh, has been very interactive uh, and very responsive, and it's actually been running in a browser all along. So I'm going to exit full screen mode, and here you can see this is Internet Explorer along the top, and the application has been running interactively inside the browser. So you don't need to install anything to, to run the application. Um, what I'll do now is uh, I'm going to show you some features for adding information to charts. Um, so we'll take this, this chart here. I'll turn off details and... bring up a palette. So this is a palette just like a notebook palette. You drag items from the palette onto the chart surface. I'm going to drag a map over. So here's, here's a, our map. We need to know how, what area we want to look at. So we're going to, we're going to look at uh, for Salford, which is an area relevant to this investigation. Hit the search button. That's gone off over the internet, found out where Salford is, and shown us a map. So here we have a map of the Salford area. Um, I can zoom and pan that map to explore it. And I can also use um, aerial photos. So here's an aerial photo of that same area. Now, we can use the map to drive a query to, uh, for information in this area. So I'm just going to click the Continue button. Now, at the moment, we're just pulling information from, uh, from a photo provider. So we're going to pull out photos of that area. In the future, we should be able to uh, pull out information uh, based on what's in the database, what's in the intelligence database, uh, addresses in that area, etc. So we're now going to pull in these photos live off the internet. So these, these photos are of, of that particular area, and the line shows you where the photo was taken. It's going to show you some nice layouts we have. So as you, as you move and pan the map, the photos arrange themselves in a nice way to, to use the, the space really well. I can click Done and add that to the chart. That's now been added to the chart. 
and I can continue that nice kind of interaction. So that's showing you some ways of getting information into the charts. We also want to maintain compatibility with uh, existing standard analytical products. So I'll show you another chart by picking another tab here. Here's a chart I prepared earlier. On the chart you'll see a familiar looking notebook, analyst notebook icon. This is actually a notebook chart. I'm going to click it. That's opened the chart so that I'm able to read it. So I can zoom and pan around this notebook chart too. So that could be a great way of integrating perhaps existing information, existing charts within an organisation. Right, now supposing we've finished our work and we want to share this chart with someone else. Um, we are able to send a link to the chart to somebody else. We don't have a file format as such, so you're not going to be embedding files and emails. You send a link to someone, so here's a link area here. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard and paste it into an email. Here's an email to Paul Holroyd. Hi Paul, here's a great new technology. Click this link uh, to see it. So Paul can then just literally click this link and that will open up in, in his browser and he'll be able to see exactly the same information that I, that I saw uh, when I was preparing, it, preparing that chart. We have another means of uh, dissemination as well. So you're able to embed charts inside web pages. Here's a web page about this particular case. And I've got two charts here side by side. These charts are not pictures, these are real charts. So the person who's reading uh, the information, the context around uh, the investigation, can actually drill down on the information within that chart while they're reading. So here we've pulled out the same information we saw earlier, uh, an address name and a name of the person in the investigation. So that's a really great feature for sharing. Finally, I'd like to um, show you the fact that uh, just because you're working in a browser doesn't mean you can't uh, do things like printing. So here's a, here's a chart I printed earlier. I hope you can see that. So printing works just fine, even though we're a browser-based application. So I hope you all found that interesting. Uh, thanks very much.